Exodus chapter 37. Then Bezalel made the ark of acacia wood. Two and a half cubits was its length, a cubit and a half its width, and a cubit and a half its height. He overlaid it with pure gold, inside and outside, and made a molding of gold all around it. And he cast for it four rings of gold to be set in its four corners, two rings on one side, and two rings on the other side of it. He made poles of acacia wood, and overlaid them with gold. And he put the poles into the rings at the sides of the ark to bear the ark. He also made the mercy seat of pure gold, two and a half cubits was its length, and a cubit and a half its width. He made two cherubim of beaten gold. He made them of one piece at the two ends of the mercy seat, one cherub at one end on this side, and the other cherub at the other end on that side. He made the cherubim at the two ends of one piece with the mercy seat. The cherubim spread out their wings above, and covered the mercy seat with their wings. They faced one another. The faces of the cherubim were toward the mercy seat. He made the table of acacia wood. Two cubits was its length, a cubit its width, and a cubit and a half its height. And he overlaid it with pure gold, and made a molding of gold all around it. Also he made a frame of a handbreadth all around it, and made a molding of gold for the frame all around it. And he cast for it four rings of gold, and put the rings on the four corners that were at its four legs. The rings were close to the frame, as holders for the poles to bear the table. And he made the poles of acacia wood to bear the table, and overlaid them with gold. He made of pure gold the utensils which were on the table, its dishes, its cups, its bowls, and its pitchers for pouring. He also made the lampstand of pure gold. Of hammered work he made the lampstand. Its shaft, its branches, its bowls, its ornamental knobs, and its flowers were of the same piece. And the six branches came out of its sides, three branches of the lampstand out of one side, and three branches of the lampstand out of the other side. There were three bowls made like almond blossoms on one branch, with an ornamental knob and a flower, and three bowls made like almond blossoms on the other branch, with an ornamental knob and a flower, and so for the six branches coming out of the lampstand. And on the lampstand itself were four bowls made like almond blossoms, each with its ornamental knob and flower. There was a knob under the first two branches of the same, a knob under the second two branches of the same, and a knob under the third two branches of the same, according to the six branches extending from it. Their knobs and their branches were of one piece. All of it was one hammered piece of pure gold. And he made its seven lamps, its wick trimmers, and its trays of pure gold. Of a talent of pure gold he made it, with all its utensils. He made the incense altar of acacia wood. Its length was a cubit, and its width a cubit. It was square, and two cubits was its height. Its horns were of one piece with it. And he overlaid it with pure gold, its top, its sides all around, and its horns. He also made for it a molding of gold all around it. He made two rings of gold for it under its molding, by its two corners, on both sides, as holders for the poles with which to bear it. And he made the poles of acacia wood, and overlaid them with gold. He also made the holy anointing oil, and the pure incense of sweet spices, according to the work of the perfumer.